years back, I was employed um, in like a digital marketing firm, but it, it, like it's more on ads, like Google ads. And then the I was told that, yeah, but it's it's not my my my. I, I'm not really like totally engaged with that particular aspect of the business because I'm you know I'm a developer. Mm -hmm. But um, my employer told me that it's better to do AdWords than organic or like, you know, the usual SEO because Google AdWords gives you a better uh, view of things as far as conversion is concerned. But I didn't really ask any details about that. But do you have any thoughts on that particular aspect well it uh i'd say the the short answer is no um with google analytics mm -hmm. you could know as much if not more information about your site than, ju than just the adwords interface can give you you mm -hmm. uh you can you know adwords you absolutely need to make sure you know conversion data when you're running an adwords campaign always because you're paying per clicks, you need to make sure those clicks convert into customers if you're paying for it, right? Yep. And there's a pixel you add after the conversion to make sure that Google knows this visitor was a conversion. Okay, great. Well, with Google Analytics, you can set up that same conversion. And not only will Google Ads know it, because you can tell Google Ads, consider the Google Analytics conversion a conversion for Google Ads sake, but then you can say, mm -hmm. oh, well, what other things generated a conversion besides Google Ads? Did Facebook convert, create conversions? Did Google Organic, did Bing Organic create conversions? Did you know Twitter, did our email campaign generate conversions? So if you are, I can see how if you were someone who was just so focused on Google Ads, you would only, you would never leave the Google ads interface and you would think, yeah. well, the others can't track it, but that's the advantage of installing Google analytics and especially Google analytics conversion tracking to know not just how Google ads converts, but how all your marketing channels converts. I mean, you can even set it up so your offline conversions are tracked in Google analytics. It's not mm -hmm. hard. And so, yeah. You know, the the important thing of what they're saying is, yeah, absolutely make sure you can always track your conversions. Never do any digital marketing without that. But it's false to suggest that Google Ads is the only platform that can do that. That's wrong. Oh. Yeah, so basically it's just like a matter of how you use Google Analytics, right? Yeah. Because I think, it, like, that. I think, one of the biggest challenges is that like Google Analytics is so robust that it would take a long time to see to like master all of its aspects. At least that's how I see it. Yeah. It's like, so, you know, you have goal tracking, there's right. like many different assets or uh, sections. So yeah, I think, I think, yeah, it, it, it it, it would take time to master. Well, so there's like, a lot of know, information in it. Google Analytics, but not all of it's useful to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so right. with Google Analytics, it's important to know what's useful for your marketing campaign and what's designed for other platforms. So if your website is about generating leads or sales, it's really easy to get to that information. Where people get distracted is there's a lot of other information in Google Analytics that isn't, that isn't necessarily useful for that goal. If, however, your website measures, uh, makes money by serving advertisements to people, well, then you're gonna look, wanna look at things like time on site and you know, average pages viewed, that stuff is really valuable if you're selling ads because that means more people saw more ads. But it's not as useful for a lead generating site 
where, hey, you know what? Sometimes people view more pages because it's good. And sometimes they view more pages because they can't find your darn contact form and they're frustrated. So that's why uh, understanding and approaching Google Analytics in light of what your business's goals are from your website is important. That helps you say, okay, that that is not as this section is not as important than that. Now, the advantage of Google Analytics 4 is, is frankly that it is a lot less data. It is, uh, yeah. you know, Google Analytics Universal, it, it was it was overwhelming to people because they have right. all these reports and you can just spend hours in the data, which is fun, but it was distracting. Google Analytics 4 is built to be, we're only showing you a minimal amount of information, but if you want to, you can always create additional reports using the Explore tab or Google Data Studio and come up with anything that you need that's useful. But it is pared down for the purpose of not being as intimidating as Universal Analytics was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a good question. And uh, I think it's important for people to know you can track analytics using Google Analytics conversions on whatever and every marketing channel you use. 